Yo, what's up guys? Cerebral Final Four here, and we're continuing our matches with the Rapierre Magnezone deck. Uh, we did pretty well against Eternatus yesterday. I mean, it was Eternatus. Uh, the deck is designed, you know, if I'm using Rapierre, to have a great advantage on it. Um, I mean, of course, still haven't played enough games against it to draw a conclusion, but uh, we, we did well yesterday, yesterday's match. So right now, uh, looks like my opponent opened up with this Cinderace V, full art right here. And man, I have a bunch of the regular like Cinderaces Stage 2s, but I don't know, I just, I thought about making a deck with them, but I feel like they're, they're going to fail me. We don't have the really, I don't have enough of the really good one uh, with the ability that uh, attaches energies to itself, but anyways... So, kind of a bad start here opening up with the Deancey, but it is a sacrifice uh, I have to count for in this deck. We run it as some help for Iperior. And my opponent played down the Charizard V. What up, what up? So, there's a really good chance he's running Charizard uh, V Max in this deck. So, I guess the Cinderace, I don't know if he's running both of the V Maxes or this guy is just as an extra dude, like maybe for the free retreat ability, I don't know. But anyway, I uh, played the Crobat and the Dedene, just a really good combo. Um, since we've got both of these cards right now, um, I guess it's going to be, well, not exactly expanded with the Shamans all day long, but it makes things faster. And uh, Crobat V doesn't have to worry about uh, the negations for GX's too. Like, there's a lot more support that can hinder GX's, so... Even though I said the other day on the deck profile that, you know, the Dene, in ways it's superior, and it is, you know, Crobat V, of course, is, is too damn good itself. But anyway, so, I have a really awkward hand here, and we can't really do much but use our own Dedene GX. I'm gonna discard everything, but, you know, have to make that sacrifice. And uh, let's go ahead and use Energy Spinner, get three energies, get the fighting, get a few metals. I didn't really want to discard the Energy Retrieval, I didn't want to really want to discard a bunch of stuff. But, you know, we had to do it. And now, I guess we're going to have to go for Quick Ball. I would like to get another, like, uh, Magnemite down, but I feel like we're just going to have to go for Zassian here, since I don't have a supporter. Get a little bit of drawing, and let's see, Evolution Incense, get the Magnezone. I'm banking on drawing like a Rare Candy or something, that'd be good. So Rhyperior and uh, Mount Coronet, Marnie, I guess it could have been worse. Now, my Metal Pokemon and Zacian, they're not going to be very good in this deck. I'm giving my opponent free two prize knockouts since he's running Fire Pokemon. But it is what it is. We have to deal with this. And I guess this is where Rhyperior is going to come in. At least that guy isn't weak to fire. Uh, he went with Marnie, so that sort of reset everything I did. But he actually gave me Rare Candy and Magnezone. So that's nice. Thanks for the help, dude. And there's the Charizard VMAX. I mean, that guy, he's going to be hell to take down. And he's gonna, he can guarantee to kill whatever he wants if he gets the enough energies. I don't have any VMAX Pokemon, so everything that I run is guaranteed to one hit KO'd if that guy gets the energies. But the problem is gonna be this I mean, yeah, he's obviously running the Welder Engine, you know, the fire cards you'd expect. But I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I mean, it's gonna take a while. I mean, I'm being really slow myself here, so I'm giving I'm gonna give him the chance, uh, giving him the time. But I feel like it's just the, the dude is too slow. I mean, I guess people are gonna try and test things out, and uh, you know, try things out is the new set, new Pokemon. But I don't know. I just feel like he's too slow. The new special fire, like the heat energies, give it more HP. So I guess that's the point. You sort of uh get a little bit of extra time as he's slowly setting up, as he's getting HP. But I wouldn't run him in standard like this, uh, or at least 
you need to have like think of a faster way like I don't know maybe electro GX uh, wacky stuff but something anyway a uh, quick ball and I'm gonna get what should we get uh, good question indeed I think yeah right period I do want to get another magnemite down but you know what, let's get Kramer at V, because I thought of something. Since he left the Jirachi over there too, if somehow I can make an attack with Kramer at V, we're going to target down the Charizard, and I guess just take advantage of the fact that he's taking his time, he's being slow, and he just has him on the bench where it's more safe there. So that's the damn plan here. So I think I have enough energies. Uh, we're going to have to manually attach them to Deancey, and it's going to be a big sacrifice. Uh, I've done worse, but it is a sacrifice still. But I'm going to be able to get the attack off, which is what I wanted. So, manually attach the fighting energy, and uh, we're ready to go for an attack with Spit Shot. Target the Charizard. It makes the most sense to me. I could easily just target down the, the Denes, but... This just puts him in an awkward position where his main dude with all the energies is hurt. So if he does promote him, then he gets a KO or something. I can just kill him back with somebody else, like even the Zacian V. So it just makes the most sense. Uh, there's no need to being greedy and hasty in this situation and just kill the Dedene, even though it's tempting. So Boss's orders, he decides to go for the Magnezone. Wow, uh, not what I wanted. If he kills him, it's going to be really bad. And uh, yeah, I knew I should have grabbed another Magnemite down. But I mean, it's pretty difficult no matter what we do. Uh, I needed to gather lots of different Pokemon. So he gets the KO on with the Charizard, and he didn't even have to use the big attack. Thanks to the weakness, he can just do 100, and that's enough. And now we're back to the drawing board. I got to get like a Magnemite and a Magnezone out. Oh, got lots of energies in the discard pile. Had to discard Magnezone in the beginning too. Fuck. It's not looking too good. And now we got to discard Eldegoss V because there's no point in me playing it down when I've got the Juniper, the Magnolia anyway. Okay, so... We're going to grab a few things with my cornet because I need to make it count since I played it. And Cherish Ball, just Dialga GX. Uh, he's going to be handy, so play that, bench that down too. And I'm going to spread them a little bit. Uh, it, may, it makes sense to put, to put it on Zacian, but he might pick on it. What we're going to do is we're going to get both of the Magnezones because uh, it's, it's what I need right now. And let me get Metal Energy and uh, should I get a Metal? Should I get a Fighting? Let's get a Fighting just in case. I, I still haven't used Rhyperior yet. And go for Interpret Sword. I'm leaving the Deancey there to die as a decoy. He's, he only took one prize yet, so it's not too bad. I got an attack on it too. Uh, we just need to keep the Magnemite safe. My other attack was like Zacian safe. Uh, thankfully he did go for the Welder so I don't have to worry about boss's orders again. Okay, uh, he went to the other Charizard. That's kind of strange. I mean, uh, dude, I thought he would want to kill the Deancey. I mean, it sucks having to do 300, such overkill, just to kill the Deancey, but just doing 100 for 3, he can't kill it. That is a very weak-ass weak attack on Charizard. I don't know why they gave him that attack, but that's what they always do. Uh, so, it's great. I didn't even give a prize. Uh, Deancey survived. It's stuck in the active position again, but I can actually do something here. Um, got our, got to use our Mark Coronet two times as well, so grabbed four energies uh, total. So this is really good. Um, I think I definitely want to use Zacian. So not not go for uh, Dialga GX yet. 
go for Cynthia. I need to see like an energy or a switch. And we do see both, so that's perfect. I'm going to save the switch, actually. Uh, sacrifice the fighting energy again. Uh, it's too bad, but the important thing is, is that I got the KO here. Uh, I'm going to get the KO with Brave Blade. So, just barely. Just barely. Because uh, that dude does have high HP with that special energy. So, now we get our three prizes. The main threat is out of the way. Uh, he's got another Charizard almost ready to go. But he doesn't even have to use that. Just Cinderace with the weakness is going to be enough to kill the Zacian. Rather unfortunate, but that's the reality. But I'm not doing too bad here. I haven't used Dialga GX's GX attack yet. I think it's about time we go for it. I've got Dubwool in hand too. That's going to be really handy if he takes two more prizes like this. He's going to be at like, what, uh, three? So yeah, I think I'm, I'm looking good. So, you know, even though it's still pretty dangerous, you know, he's running his fire Pokemon. I only have met one Magnus on down. If he kills this guy again, I'm probably going to be dead. Like, we don't even have the space to uh, play another one. I mean, I guess if once the Zacian dies. But I really want to play the Dubwool as well, too. And we didn't even get to use the Rhyperior. Uh, damn it. But it is what it is. Got to use... Uh, who's best and who's available, right? Okay, so I'm going to go for the Deanza here because I know that I've got the switch. I don't want to commit anybody else. Or should I? Um, yeah, let's just... Uh, I've got the switch. I don't want to commit Dialga and then I don't have enough energies or just somebody else. So we're risking it 100%. I'm played down the double V. So if he does kill the... Magnezone, we're done. But I'm going to do what I can here to attach as, ma as many energies as possible. So even if it does die, I've got double V to fall back on. So, decisions, decisions. I have enough energies to use Dialga GX. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to use Dialga. And then... Double V. He's going to be down on one prize if he kills the... Uh, no, I mean, he surrendered anyway, but um, I was going to get another turn with Diaga. That, that's why he did it, you know. Using my GX attack is pretty much game at this point. But GG, you know, kind of sudden, but I was, gonna, I was about to use Diaga's GX attack. I, I had the game and our probability. So I hope you guys enjoyed, hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll say...